Oh, oh is this the intro? My water before the show. <laughs> I don't know. Is it the intro? I don't know. I didn't know if you were doing a bit or if this was it. But now it looks guys, like this is it. Guys, welcome back. It looks like this is it, guys. Welcome back to Genius <laughs> welcome Bar. Welcome back to so Genius Bar. Sam, how are you, buddy? Oh, man. I am so excited as our event is just about a week away. Mm. We are going to be on stage meeting mm. you guys in a I'm gonna week. I'm going to throw up. GeniusBargoesDark.com tickets, but I actually want to, you know, we'll, we'll talk I'm about that throw a little up bit more. A week we'll away, you say? More. That's not a long time, Rick. John, guess what, though? We've got breaking news at the breaking Genius Bar. Breaking news. So I was uh, telling Sam that I was a bit worried about the news, and then he said there's breaking news, but wouldn't tell me what it was. So let us, let us venture forth in real time. I think we just got some insane news, bro. Sam, you made this sound like it was going to be huge, and then I just I looked at your screen, and it's not. It's pretty big news. Uh, breaking news. Mark Gurman says Apple's going to start accepting trade-ins of the Mac Studio 13-inch M2 MacBook Air and 13-inch M2 MacBook Pro the same day as WWDC. John. Read that and tell me you're you're missing a part of that. I mean, we've been hearing that a 15 inch MacBook is coming. Yeah, dub dub. So Apple's going to allow trade ins of the old stuff starting then because they're coming out with a new version. Yes. I mean, Mac Studio update. You're, you're it says that there's trade in Mac Studio. That's new. But that doesn't. Okay, listen. That means uh, there's a new listen, version coming. I'm trying to just. I'm trying to just keep my expectations in check because no, listen, stop it. Sam, I need you to listen, please. Unbuckle, bro. Okay, Mac Studio. <laughs> Good start, Mac Studio. <laughs> if we get a new one, if th that's uh, yeah, I'll be excited. But just because they're saying you can trade in a Mac Studio doesn't mean that we're getting a Mac Studio. If we are, then I that might be the thing that I love the most about the event then I will I mean, regret not it. being excited right now in this moment when you were trying to get me excited. <laughs> it's been over a year. It's going to be a year and a half since the Mac Studio was first un unveiled. Wouldn't it make sense for the M2 Ultra to come out? Oh, I would buy it so fast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, I could see the M2 Max and M2 Ultra getting put in the Mac Studio. It's, we know it's got the thermals for it. The thermals under the grade. Yeah, but you really think they'd waste time at Dub Dub to put for a Mac Studio? Dude. You don't think it would just be a press release? Or do we have a drum roll sound effect? Come or on. Or Mac Pro. That's what I was gonna say, bro. <laughs> I was doing the drum roll. We yeah. get a Mac if we get a Mac Pro, then that would make sense. Now we're talking. I mean, dude, it's gotta be due. We right? kind of ex actually. We kind of. Ex we at least wait, for... bro. Hold on. What What's are wrong? we gonna get a new MacBook Air, new Mac Pro, all the software and the headset at the same time? Yeah, Dude, that's that's literally too much. Yeah, what, like that tells me Apple should have done an event in April or May. Yeah, that is like too much stuff at once. Mm -hmm. How, how am John really? I'm just how long asking is how am I going to make hours for... how, well, how, how am I going to make videos about all of that? How, no, how are you going to make videos about it, period? But how are you going to make videos about it in San Francisco where we're like prepping for an event that's happening the next day? And John, I don't know if you saw the news. What's wait, the hold news? On. I, hold on. I have what? Some. Wait, wait for it. No, wrong one. No. No. <laughs> look at this. Oh, look at this boy struggle. One. No, hold on. Hold on. It's worth it. He's getting there. Oh, here we go. I don't know if you saw the news, John. <laughs> Stop. I can't. What is it? What's the news? I didn't get invited to Dub Dub. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. But you know who did? <laughs> Lots of other people. <laughs> I know. Way more people than usual. Dude, uh, I saw, I don't know if, do you, Jacqueline from Nothing But Tech, she got invited this year. Oh, um, really? That's sick. Yeah, a bunch of people got invited that weren't that weren't uh, historically invited before, which means Apple Ooh. is expanding, which means this is, they really believe in this. They want the most amount of people there to see this, and the most amount of people still doesn't include Sam. 
Dude, I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> you got beats, though. Dude, listen, dude, a win is a I win, know, my bro. I know. You know? And, the, and listen, I, I love... The dude, the new transparent beats are so cool. Like they are just the coolest piece of tech of the year. That's not. I mean, do they? Yeah, I mean, yes, okay. they send it to me, but like that's just. Facts. Do they sound better than AirPods Pro? Because no, I doubt they don't. Okay, they don't. Um, AirPods Pro to do sound the best still. Okay. Uh, for buds, at least, obviously the yeah. is sound best overall. Uh, yeah, I'm sa- John. I just wanted to be vulnerable and say I'm sad. I'm sad that I did not get invited. I I had a glimmer of hope. Are you sad? Wait, you're sad. I have I'm the perfect sad. ad read for you right really? now. Yeah, we're going to run it. Here we go. John. Sam. <laughs> you could just tell. <laughs> I've needed Cerebral this week because they are the sponsor, or one of the great sponsors of this episode. Yay, Cerebral. Um, Cerebral is a 100% online mental health service that offers therapy and medication management for anxiety, depression, insomnia, stress, burnout, and more. I didn't know it was impossible to experience many of those all at the same <laughs> all time. All at once. <laughs> and while we are laughing and joking about this, I want you guys to know I'm not making fun of this. I am laughing because I've experienced a lot of this. <laughs> He's and that laughing is the way that through I, the pain. <laughs> no, that is personally the way. Listen, I know some people may be like, you know, that's that's callous to talk about mental health that way. Uh, that is how I treat my own mental health. Uh, I've been in therapy for years now. I know we've talked about this before, but seeing a service like Cerebral that brings this and makes it accessible for people being 100% online is super cool. Yeah, You basically just do the brief questionnaire to get started with the care team based on your needs and preferences. Then you go to the Cerebral app, schedule your sessions, get your questions answered. Um, and they, they have additional mental health resources as well. Yeah. Um, in fact, Cerebral is one of the few services online that provides medication management online through a licensed provider. Of course, if it's clinically indicated, whenever uh, you're talking with your therapist, schedule sessions based on what's more, most convenient for you. Uh, don't wait weeks to be seen. 80% of members for Cerebral see a provider within five days. You can wow. do your sessions on a laptop, a phone. Uh, so you can always find uh, an area at home where you're most comfortable. I'm most guys comfortable in bed. If you're wondering, <laughs> yeah, that's a really good spot for therapy. <laughs> and for Mental Health Awareness Month, guys, this May, you can get an exclusive 50% off your first month of therapy by that's going to Cerebral.com slash genius. That's Cerebral.com slash genius for 50% or more, actually, off your first month of therapy uh, for quality mental health care that's accessible and affordable. Join Cerebral today. Thank you, Cerebral. Okay. Uh, do you feel better? You know what? Therapy is important, and I did have therapy this week, and it was... A good At one. therapy, do you talk about Apple? Do you like? Do you talk about how they hurt you? <laughs> I don't get invited. <laughs> but instead I'm, of saying no, Apple, never, do you just I give it like a name? Do you name it a man? It's like this. This guy Tim, he just he's <laughs> he's really pushing me away and creating We're distance between issues. us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I I just um I just want to be Apple's friend, man. It just it just oh, knowing all my you tech are friends Apple's are friend, there. Fan, friend, what? Just no one, no, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt you that like Andrew Edwards, Sarah Dietschy, they're all going to be there. And it's just like, we have to watch from the outskirts. Oh no, it doesn't hurt. I know why I'm not there for a variety of reasons. I'm annoying and terrible for one. Um, and you shouldn't put me in a public space. Uh, (laughs) but yeah, uh, I was, uh, I was a little bit expecting, especially after last week that you get a little something, something. And I don't know yeah. this for Dude, sure, even- but Jacqueline put her, she tweeted it out today, I believe. So it's like, I don't know if they're rolling hmm. in late for some people. So maybe, <laughs> maybe bro. Could you imagine Sam? Could you imagine? No, there's not even a point to think about it. Cause I, I'm also, also just like, man. you don't have time, Sam. I don't think you understand. <laughs> The John, next I would, day, I, would, I would skip the event. The next day, we have an event, and you're trying to make like four goddamn videos. Yeah, but I could touch the headset, and that would be worth it, bro. You can touch it if you wait a little bit, too. John. Wow, I hope everyone that bought a ticket is listening really closely. This man <laughs> would fucking ditch you. Like that, like, like, I, you know you're what? like that girl that's just waiting for the guy to call her for prom. And the oh. call, she just sits by the phone and the call never comes. Sam is going to leave right. your ass is what he's going to do. No, I know. Do you do you think me doing like the renders and stuff is, do you think I'm on the everything Apple pro path? Because I kind of feel like I'm on the everything Apple pro path. That man has 10 million subscribers and never got invited to an Apple event and his name is everything Apple pro. Well, that's why. Uh, do you think I'm setting myself up for failure? No. Also, I think you're better than... Everything Apple Pro. 
that's just I'm biased, no, but yeah, no. I'm biased. He's a goat. He's a goat. Don't you no. speak on him like uh, that? No, no, no. I'm not speaking. Philip, neg- come listen, on our podcast, please. Listen, I'm not Every speaking negatively about him. I I watch his content all the time too. I'm just saying objectively to me, your energy's just better, and I, yeah, I have more fun watching you. No, that's just because you're my friend. Philip's the Philip's the goat. F R F R. He's cool. So. Oh yeah, I'm your friend. That stopped me from saying anything horrible to you before. <laughs> fair. fair <laughs> <laughs> um, so yes, Dub Dub invites obviously went out to the press. Uh, yes, I guess they that's did, news honey. That's happened. There's a lot of people going. One of the most interesting ones is. Uh, let me go ahead and pull it up right now, baby. He's pulling We've it up, honey. Upload VR, which has never been invited to an Apple event before. I like they how... are going to the Apple event. I'm trying. I to like find... how anytime anytime something like pops up on Twitter, like a VR company is invited, people are like oh, like but. I mean, <laughs> they've never been invited before, bro. I I know, but we oh, you're already saying, know. Like, we, we already know. knew that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we know, dude. But like, this is this is a hundred percent my energy. I would be like, Sam Cole has been invited to cover <laughs> for the first time. Um, so yeah, yeah, Apple, I mean, if you're makes, out there, if- it like this. It feels like even Tim knows that we know. Like, the, he's yeah. inviting. He's openly inviting companies, AR, VR companies like that. To, to attend it's it's kind of obvious should i email apple after this and just be like hey can i come please uh, i don't see what it would hurt other than me in our event <laughs> i mean i'll still be at our <laughs> event the next day yeah they're probably i don't know i mean i mean I what, I, what's what's the, what would be wrong anyway with people are gonna be like he always talks about this that's fair i'm also like why am i talking about this it doesn't actually matter i'm very excited for the event um you know me the number one apple sheep on planet earth me and Tolos of tech fighting for first place uh, here we he go. Ju- he just posted a Google Pixel video, so you're ahead of him right now, I think, in terms okay, of... Okay, just slightly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, I don't know. I thought the thing from Gurman was interesting about how new Macs sound like they're coming. We've got all this coming at WWDC, guys. I don't know if you realize this. This is our second to last episode, not only before our event on June 5th, sorry, June 6th, yeah. WWDC on June 5th. Basically, like, you can come to San Francisco. WWDC is just down the road in Cupertino. You could like go visit Apple Park, then come see us the next day. Then the third day, John Gruber's talk show is on the seventh. Yeah, uh, we are attending. Are we allowed to say? Yeah, I was just gonna say. I think we yeah. can say that. Yeah, he uh, he was super nice to us and and uh, and hooked us up with some some seats and we're really yeah. thankful to John Gruber for that. John, um, John Gruber, maybe one of the longest standing like, like Apple reporters, yeah, Apple journalists. Um, one of the people that I respect the most in the industry and he was incredibly kind to us. And, uh, so yeah, yeah we are, uh, we're going to attend that event. We, I was talking to him like, um, for the last couple months, he hadn't planned his yet while well, we were planning ours. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know how you could do that, but he probably knows people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, we're, it's what, like 30, 40 minutes from where we are. So we're going to do our event and head over there the next day. Yeah, yeah, we'll be there. Uh, honestly, let's help them out. Let's let, let's leave a link to his tickets down below if you guys. So we'll Absolutely. have our tickets, which are on the sixth. WWC is on the fifth, and then his is on the seventh. It's yeah, in busy San Jose. Week. Actually, uh, I guess I'll say this because it's fun. We we were actually looking to book that same venue at one point, but we decided to yeah. go uh, to the Regency Ballroom. So it'll it's, it'll be kind of cool to like see the inside of the venue that we almost did our own yeah. show at. And mm-hmm. uh, Gruber, by the way, if you're like, why is this a big deal? Um, other than him being like a super long running Apple journalist, he uh, he historically has brought Apple execs on. Yeah, stage. like they're they're pretty good, big fans of John Gruber. Yeah, they uh, him and Apple I think have a good relationship together, which is really cool. And yeah. obviously he worked for that and does a great job when he gets reviews and stuff. I always like reading his perspective, and it's really interesting to watch. It's really cool. I mean, you'll be there's a chance you'll get to see like Craig or something there. Yeah, Jaws is there and. Uh, yeah. And so, uh, if you're going to be there, we'll see you there too. Cause we're attending. I, you know, I just, I don't want to, I, I almost felt weird about saying that we're going to be there. Cause I don't want people to like, you know, acknowledge we, that we're there. We and might be distract. in disguise. We might be in disguise. <laughs> Speaking of disguises. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, so anyway, uh, yeah. Tickets to Gruber's show on the seventh down below. Um, our shows on the sixth. I mean, honestly, like, I don't know. It's going to be a lot of Apple stuff in one week. It, it, I'm not going to lie. Now that the show's getting closer, it feels kind of cool to like be a part of the festivities Dude, that so week. there's so much going on. Oh, my brain Do you is going to fall out of my ears. <laughs> yeah, I feel a little bit. I had to squish mine back in. <laughs> Every today. morning I have to lay funny just to keep it in. Okay, so let's jump into the meat of this show. Oh, before like we jump been... in, can I steal the show? I want to steal the show. 
Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, okay. So uh, this is I, this is a tactic I learned from Sam. Sam puts out a video, uh, does well, then he talks about it. Um, but in this case, uh, I want to bring up today's front page tech video because... Uh, oh, did you, wait, did you get canceled again? No. Oh, no, not, John. No, 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 no. What did you say? No, no, no. This, Are you sure? I'm positive. We can't, we can't take another loss, bro. Okay, before I continue, have you seen it? Because it sounds yet. like you haven't no. seen it. Okay, because no, that's not what happened at all. Uh, oh, thank God. So Oof. I wanted to talk about this because there are there are so many comments from you guys, and uh, obviously I can't reply to all of them. So I wanted to I wanted to acknowledge you guys uh, right now and just thank you for sharing some of your stories in the comments below. Uh, I like that uh, we all sort of there's names that I haven't seen in the comments ever that have been following for years that finally like decided to say something today over that episode. Um, for context, it was basically the same thing that I said in Genius Bar last week about the AI stuff. Um, I also mentioned, you know, my parents passing away when I was a kid, which I haven't done before on a front page tech episode. That hasn't been like just said to the public Whoa. like that other than Genius Bar. So people were sharing their stories and there was a lot of, there was a lot of uh, comments that I think might be my favorite that, 10 years doing this my favorite comments are in this video so i wanted to thank you guys for for putting your comments there if you if you spoke up there um and a lot of people mentioned how they either laughed at this feature didn't get this feature uh and now i've changed their mind and they sort of see the humanity behind it so uh thanks for giving the video a chance and thanks for wow. commenting i read every single comment i will continue to read every single comment uh fun fact i don't know about you sam but when I upload a video, I usually stick around for the first hour to like look at comments. So if you want to interact with me, uh, be fast when I upload, I guess. Uh, but in this case, I will read every comment that comes in through that video. And this, I just wanted to take a, a moment because obviously I can't reply to you personally. So I just want to tell you that, you know, I didn't ignore them. I saw them and uh, we have a great community and it was really cool to see, you know, uh, we, we're telling jokes all the time and it was really cool to see the community sort of uh, be a little bit, uh, you know, more human. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Cool. So thanks, guys. Wow. That's all, Sam. I said my piece. Thank you. That was beautiful. Yeah, well done. Well done. I'm excited to watch this video. I just will say, uh, I like how John Prosser can make a video called This Is Why I Love Apple. Please watch. And everybody's like, you're the best. Um, I would make a video called This Is Why I Love Apple. And people are like, you fucking sheep shill. Go die. <laughs> there how were some of those, too. You? Yeah, there were some of those. But um Anyway, very cool. Happy that that video did well uh, If you. you watch it, Sam, let me know what you think. I was I was happy with how it came out. Okay. And it was one of yeah, those I videos did, I didn't that know like, you were making this. I mean, you know, I think this is the most important feature of the year. So to me, this is going to be the yeah. most important from page deck of the year, no matter what I do for the rest of the year. So That's very, very cool. I'm very, very excited yep. that you... Uh, I'm very excited that you did that. And I am very excited because I want to remind people... You want to remind oh, people? Oh, God. Should we save this for next week? Oh, no. No, what? let's do it now. I'm, I'm too excited to get your reaction to this because <sighs> let me just say this. I've got a video coming out the same day that this episode of Genius Bar goes out. Uh, okay. That is Tomorrow? a video that Sunday? I think will. Yeah, Sunday. Okay. Uh, I think like views wise, it will probably not do well uh, because it's entirely about the headset. Uh, like yeah, the entire video, it goes over every single detail, every single rumor. Title I it, about this is why I love Apple. Please watch. I talk about the design, <laughs> I talk about the features and the specs, and I talk about why it matters and what Apple's going to change with it. And we're really proud of it. We've got a slew of custom renders that you've never seen um, in it. It's, I showed John some before. It's very, Shea very been cool. doing we some worked, work. Yeah, my, my boy Shea Concept, Concept Central. Shout out to my boy. Uh, it's a great video uh, because he made it good. And he sent me something that I need you to react to with me because okay. it is going to make you feel something. Okay, give me feels, Daddy. Make me feel. Make me feel something. I mean, just think about it. Just about a week from today, John. Mm -hmm. It's dubbed up, right? You know, it's the first album of the year. It Whatever. is that. Yes. Right. People, people are going to say, "Why is every? Why are you guys so excited? I don't understand. Why is anyone this excited for a headset? It's, okay. I mean, come on. It's not going to come on. You know why? Why? And I. You know, we'll, we'll say things like it's never been done this way before. It's the most premium materials or Apple's going to do the Apple thing where they make it unique and, and human. And it's like, ah, that's not enough. So I just want to show you show what me. we're about to experience in the week. Okay, where are you going to show me? Which is this video that is someone in the crowd, if you could, put, if you could show, my, show my screen, 
someone I had my text messages ago, open. I was like waiting for you to t- text me a video. <laughs> it is uh it is someone in the crowd of the press as the Apple Watch is unveiled. Oh. Dude, Dude, I can't handle Dude. watching this stuff back. The Apple Dude. Watch announcement especially. Dude. Like when, t- okay, the the promo is whatever. You know, the rent, that's oh, all great. It's magical phenomenal. Apple. Yes. Tim Cook's face, like the pride that he had holding up the watch, like, oh man, goosebumps every time. But dude, you've never seen this. And I was like, okay, it's just going to be people watching the keynote. Or it's going to be people watching the Apple Watch video. But this is in real time. <gasps> tech we didn't reporters get to see everywhere. this part. No, we didn't get to Because we just saw the promo the on screen. So yes, I, I just want to play this because it's very cool. YouTube.com slash Genius Bar if you want to see the video, if you're an audio yeah. listener right now. So here we go. This is the moment that we're about to experience in a week. I have turned the audio down a little bit because I think there's some music in here. I wish I was there. Dude. Oh, shit. This is way different being in the crowd. I know, bro. I I want to be there so bad. There's the there's this digital crown for the first yeah. time. God damn, this watch looked good. Fuck, dude. Yeah, the stainless steel. They f- they nailed it. Yeah, let's go. Dude, I know. It feels like I'm there. This was so many years ago. Yeah, let's go. Dude, I feel like I'm seeing it for the first time. Amazing. Dude, somebody's standing up and raising their arms. That's amazing. Let's fucking go. Look at that. Oh, the sound effect of the metal. This is probably their best video of all time. Uh, I, I find it hard to argue with that. Dude. And the music. Oh, there it is for like the first real time. You can see what it looks like. Dude. The buckle. Oh, the, oh, gold the edition. One the Apple Watch edition. I remember seeing this for the first time. And oh. It just looked you've never seen anything like it. This is so cool to see people watching it. Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, they really like they launched with so much variety. Yeah, they really overdid it. They pulled back on a lot of that through the coming years, but it did a lot of strategy to work. There he Look is. Look at him, dude. Yes, let's go. Dude. All right, Tim. All right, Tim. I'll see you on June be there, bro. Look, this man's starting to stand in ovation. Wow. My, uh, my point is, technology is fun, and I like feeling things with technology, and that's become the mission with, I bet my, you do. with my business. It, like People laugh and smile, but I want to be the biggest Apple YouTuber in the world, and I want, to, I want uh, to, to have the number one brand for Apple content. I've seen where the legacy outlets are starting to struggle. I've seen where audiences are aging and things aren't, you know, feeling is real. I think that's what you do such a good job is with FPT is like, it's you and it's real and it's authentic. And that's what I want to do. Like, that's my mission. And people will make fun of you for being a fanboy and being a Stan and getting excited about things. Mm-hmm. But it's like, at the end of the day, uh, I fucking love Apple and what they do. And it, you can call me a sheep. You can call me a shill. You can say they pay me. I fucking wish they paid me. That would be <laughs> like so much easier. I dude, like the funniest thing is I feel like I, I ride Apple, Apple harder than most because that's genuinely how I feel. Do you feel and like then, riding them really hard? Yes. Yeah, stop. <laughs> and then you say that and it ruins it. You my said it. Being, I just repeated it. My, my point being, don't make fun of people for what they like. And that includes yeah. me with Android. If you, th- if you really, okay. Table. If you're going through life trying to be objective, you're just a fence sitter and you're wrong. It's okay to like things. It's okay to feel things and it's okay to have a bias. And you probably still do and just try to lie to yourself about it. Dude, but that's the thing. Everyone has a bias. Like, there's no such thing as like 100% objectivity. You would literally have to be an AI. Speaking of AI, it's time for our next ad. Clickety clack, clickety clack. What is that sound? 
That's the sound of me typing with <laughs> Grammarly Go, baby. Yay! Yes. We love Grammarly and Grammarly Go. Thank you for sponsoring Dude. today's episode. Today we're John. working and communicating more quickly than ever, and sometimes we feel a little bit stuck. Give yourself a helping hand with Grammarly Go, Grammarly's new, brand new communication assistant powered by AI. Generative AI. Generative AI. AI. Like when I'm trying to come up with video ideas, like, and I need help. It's like, well, I just go over to Grammarly Go and I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm trying to figure this out where I don't really know what to say. How do I describe this in a, in a better way? And, and you go to Grammarly Go and you type it in and it's like, well, here's how you ideate and unlock your creative potential. And then it just gives it to you, bro. <laughs> it just gives it to you. It's like, yeah, it'll help you like translate your feelings into words. It'll get you started. Obviously, that shouldn't be the final result. Give it your own little touch, but it helps you. It's it's get you on the go. Grammarly's exactly. been around for a long time, and I've been using it forever. So for them to come out with an AI tool, Grammarly.com slash go. Uh, very, very grateful for, for that. Yeah. When I say Grammarly Go gives it to you, I mean, it gives you that inspiration you need to get going. And that's exactly what I've needed in my professional life. John, how do the people get started with this? All they have to do is go to Grammarly.com slash go to download and learn more about Grammarly Go. That's G-R-A-M-M-A-R-L-Y dot com slash, I mean, you know how to spell go, right? Slash go, G-O. Do I have to tell them? I, yeah, tell them, make okay. sure. Okay, dot, dot, dot com slash G-O. There go. you go. Guys, download and learn more about Grammarly Go. Thank you guys, Grammarly, for sponsoring. <laughs> Thank you, Grammarly. <laughs> wow, that was good really job, good. Good job, Sam, that was nice. Thank you, I, I was really proud of that one. <laughs> um, dude, like, uh, I don't know. I just, I feel like there's so much, like your video is really cool that you're just like, this is cool and this means something you should have post a personal story. And that's, that's what I like. And that's, dude, that's why I'm so excited for Dub Dub because we're going to have another one of these moments where Apple allegedly is going to reinvent something that has existed for a while. Yeah. Dude, VR headsets have been out for a decade. How many people in the real world actually use them? Almost zero. Because I mean, there's nothing compelling. Us once a month. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's like, dude, how many people Bruh, use VR ping pong before, sounds Apple? hot right now. Not gonna lie. <sighs> I need it, bro. But I, I made this point in my video, and you'll you'll hear me say it tomorrow. I basically for the first time ever in a video, I have a two minute unedited segment of me just talking at the really? end. Really? Yeah. No cuts of me just that's, going. That's that's what happened from page tech today, too. Very odd dude, that we're timing that's it. That's how you know it's real. And I said, no one used an, a smartphone before the iPhone, but smartphones existed. Mm -hmm. No one used a tablet before the iPad, but tablets existed. Nobody used an Apple Watch when smart watches were out. Google beat Apple by many years with the, yeah. with the not with the Pixel line, but with uh, Wear OS and stuff. Now, if it's the most popular watch in the world, maybe the clearest example yet is AirPods. Dude, well, Sam Samsung everyone... had Tizen on watches. Like, th yes. it, it's like... This has been going on, and I this is every time I talk about how popular the Apple Watch is, I always have to drop the little fun fact that Apple Watch is the most popular watch in the world, yeah. not smartwatch. Out of all watches that have ever been watched, the number one watch in the world that is insane. They just imagine being <laughs> like just minding your own business, making making watches, and then fucking Tim Cook's just like, ah, I'm gonna make one now. And just ruins you. Same with but AirPods. Dude, that, Twelve billion dollar business, AirPods, just by themselves. But my point being, do you remember how people laughed at AirPods for a straight three five days? Me too. Oh, I, I was someone as soon as I put those in my ears for the first time, I was like, Yep, this is this is gonna change everything. Like the second I touched it, I was like, this solves so many problems. But it's like, John, again, headphones existed. Yeah. It's not like there weren't wireless headphones Bluetooth before AirPods. headphones existed, yeah. What did Apple do? They made Dedicated it feel chip magic. human. They made it feel magic and human. And mm -hmm. all of a sudden, it worked. Why would they not be able to do that with VR and AR? Yeah. Like, I just, I don't get the sentiment. Their track record speaks for themselves. That's why I'm excited. That's why this, dude, like, the more we talk about this, the more f ecstatic I am. And I think everyone should be ecstatic. If you're not ecstatic, like, if there's one Apple event 
in the past decade you should be <laughs> excited for. It is this event. And everybody's like, mm, dub, dub, DC. I wish I, I wish someone mm. could make a super cut of like Genius Bar episodes throughout the year because you can just see us progressively get more excited. Yes, we go more we go from hate. like absolutely hating our lives every week to oh my god, this is so cool. Dude, we have been hearing about this headset since 2017. That's a long time. That's a real I long just, time. I I mean, I don't know. I've never been more excited for an Apple event in my life. Ever. I've never been a real YouTuber at the time that a big product came out. When the Apple Watch came out in 2015, I think I had well under 100K subs on YouTube. Nobody watched my videos. That, people, it was the, you know, it was really the watch iWatch. Videos, yeah, it was the, the iWatch. The exactly. iWatch was coming. But I just am really excited to see. I'm so glad it's not called the iWatch. I'm glad they dropped that. No, I, I kind of. iWatch is bad. People still call it the iWatch. iWatch is bad. It sounds like a kid's toy. You're right. But like, I don't know. Apple Watch kind of sounds cheesy. So what are they going to call the headset? Uh, Is it really going to be Apple Reality Pro? That sounds kind of dumb. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of Apple looking. Vision. Apple that, Vision. Apple Vision is much better. Apple Look and See is much better. Apple, you're <laughs> not here anymore, see. is better. Um, <laughs> Apple, Apple Prosser. Apple is look, better. <laughs> yep. Look through my holes. I'll take you somewhere else. Is a better name than Reality Pro. Reality, like that sounds I want too the, VR. That I want them to justify Facebook-y. that name to me. That's yeah. Reality Pro. It's like reality, but better because I. Mm, well, if you think about all of Apple's products, tell you what it is. I guess aside from the Mac, tell you what it is. Like AirPods, or like wireless headphones. Yeah, but this is so like the pro- it's the product category itself that is hard to explain to people with it being new. I just I really hope it's not Apple. When you go Apple. when you go up to I, a, go up to a forty eight year old woman in Starbucks and go, "Hey, you excited about AR VR?" and she will shit herself. They, no one knows <laughs> that doesn't make any goddamn sense to anybody. That's just noises. Yeah. That, and that's not their fault. That's just like, it's God, for, it's dude, foreign. Just you saying that you're so right because Apple is not going to, they're not going to like call it an AR VR headset. They're going to call it something that makes they like they, just the fact that they're, they're going to call it the, mixed reality because that's, yeah. that's more palatable. Dude. Uh, and oh when God. you say, okay, when I say AR VR, your brain has to do some reworking. When I say mixed reality, it's like, okay, that's exactly, I know exactly what you're saying. John, I am so, okay, you tell me. And and I want you to be honest. What do you want me to tell you? Maybe this is just me. Go ahead. Is is this the Apple event you are most excited for ever? Or has there been other events that you remember? uh, Hmm. Well, I've been excited for different reasons. There's been like uh, the iMac and AirTags event mm. that was like that was a great one April that, of that was exciting because i was surprised Top. and my leaks were in there so it's hard to tell but i guess as as a fan not as a youtube person as a fan i am i'd put this right up there with apple watch um yeah. right up there with the with the iphone announcement like yeah. i i will always see like those three things together mm. airpod like airpods 2 i guess I mean, and I don't mean the second AirPods gen were just AirPods a part too. Of a, uh, they were a part of the iPhone seven event, though. Yeah, it it, it was like, like a... it's hard to say because AirPods are are really successful, and I love them, and they were a huge a huge announcement. But it's like, yes, why isn't that as groundbreaking as this? Well, at the end of the day, it, didn't... it just does the same thing, just a little bit better, just better. That yeah. that was the game changing part. Like and it it, it just does it a little work. bit better. It connects a yeah. little bit better. It might sound a little bit better. But dude, okay, I something that I discovered. So I do I, I researched for my video. So yeah, I did a full video talking about every aspect of the headset. Okay. Um, I'll leave a link down below along with your video. We're just we're just throwing links in the description. We can just do that. It's our show. Uh so I want to do a little quiz for you because I also want to illustrate another me, groundbreaking Daddy. point that Apple has done on this headset that no one has been talking about. What? And you're, it's going to blow your mind when I tell you because it's a detail that everyone forgot, including myself. Blow me, Sam. I'm ready to blow. All right. This headset. What is it, John? What that's, am I a, that's a Quest 2. Yes, sir. How much does this weigh? Fuck if I know. Weighs just over 400 grams. It's about 404, 406 grams. Okay. All right? Now, you know, grams. in your hand, if, if I mean, I know you've been working out, but would you say if you held this in your hand, is it is it heavy to hold, like, in your hand? Um, It can be. 
Mine especially sure. modded out, but it's yeah, like it's mod, relatively like, light. Yeah. Now, what about on your face? Would you say it's a little heavy on your face? Uh, it's not heavy. The weight distribution is awful. It's heavy on the front of my face because yeah. that's where everything is. Exactly. So you'd say that the weight overall is a problem, and, to, and for VR to be mainstream, it should yeah. be better. Like I, it's the I. I guess that's the best way I can explain it. The weight is fine. The distribution of the weight is ass. Yeah, I would personally just say it's too much in general. John, what if I told you? Tell me. That Apple's virtual reality headset was going to weigh three hundred grams, so a twenty five percent lighter. Huh? Twenty five percent lighter than this one. First of all, what are you? What? How? What? How do you know? Sorry, miss. Did I say three hundred grams? What if I actually told you it was going to be a hundred fifty grams? Half <laughs> okay. of that. Okay, I have. Can I ask my questions, John? How what if do I you told know you this? And is that, that true? Reports have said it's going to be as little as one hundred grams. Hi. Let me pull up the stats. People don't believe me. I could see it. I could see that thing feeling pretty foamy. Listen, dude, if I go ahead and do some research. Um, I, that's really stretching it. 100 grams. Let me show you, bro. Why is Mac Rumors losing his mind? It is having mind? some issues, bro. They what is going out. on? Oh, my God. I'm just trying to. got that. some hack rumors going on right now. Dude, this is some hack rumor. What is going? It must be because I'm screen sharing. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's let's try to do it the old-fashioned way. We Mac love hack rumors, rumors here. Headset. Wait. Look at this, bro. 200, 300 grams, but Apple is aiming to reduce the final weight to 100 to 200. What? Dude, look at this. March 22nd, 2021, the day after my birthday, Apple is aiming to keep the mixed realities headset weight under 150 grams. John, if Apple even <sighs> hits 200. That was 2021. Uh, half the weight of the best-selling VR headset right now. Yeah. They've just solved it. That's like uh, this. This is what I'm saying, bro. Nobody gets it. That's so low that my brain is having a hard time accepting that that bro, might be true. I, the, I need to know for it. sure. The battery is external. What is up there but screens and processors? Those don't weigh yeah. that much. A little bit of glass on the front and some, some other cameras. Like You can get that to be 200 grams or less. Yeah. Is it worth the trade-off for a two-hour battery pack? On your waist. Yes, I, I believe so. That is so unapply. It's weird. <sighs> but listen, would you rather have a weird cable? And I think this is the decision that they made. Will it look a little weird and ugly, or will it give you the best experience on a VR headset? And I think they traded experience for aesthetics, which I think is. I mean, aesthetics here do. don't really fucking matter because you're inside of it. <laughs> it yeah. does, you don't care what it looks like, dude. I just. I don't know. When I saw that researching for my video, I like literally paused and I was like, I'm sorry. How That's has crazy. no one mentioned this? And that comes from Quo. Very interesting. Dude, like this headset is going. I There's, there's no point because the people like I'm trying. I'm really trying to convince the people. And maybe if, if you're somebody that's been on the edge, just like if I convert Vince, one of you this episode, let me know in the comments down below. I'm just trying like, I know the people that are like, this is dumb, this is stupid, aren't going to get it. I'm just uh -huh. trying to give you every chance to be like, maybe this is going to be kind of a big deal. Like, maybe Apple releasing a new product is going to be because they have something important to show off and they're not just trying to take people's money to I do something. I wonder what it would like, be like to be so disconnected, to know an announcement like this is happening and then not understand why it's a big deal. Like, even if you're not going to buy it. I think yeah, people, people's, people's ideas just, of tech they're so short-sighted. It's like, if I won't buy it, it's bad and worthless. And listen, it sucks that it's going to be three grand. I hate that this is going to be twenty twenty nine ninety nine. I hate that it's going to be that expensive. That's too, that's too expensive. Um, I, I, yeah, I wish that more people would get access to it. Now, a year later, they're going to come out with a version half that, which will be way more accessible, although still $1,500 will be a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I just, I see this being a big cultural moment for apple and a really clear like representation of the next era our like event's going to be a big cultural you know, moment too dude we're going to be talking about this with humans i know the day after like you will get our freshest hot like dude and i don't want to 
I'll leave it anonymous for now, but what are you going to say? You know what? Let's not, let's not say it. Just, what? I think there'll be some cool perspectives at our event. That's oh yeah, there will. Some very I cool perspectives. I don't think you'll want to miss hearing in person. Just saying. Just saying. We've got a lot of cool people that are going to be at the event. These people really thought we'd make an event without a couple of surprises. You don't think we're going to have special guests with us, bro? I you got a question, Sam. Some friends of the Genius Bar there? Come on. I got a question. What's up, man? So uh, Final Cut for iPad dropped on <sighs> Tuesday, I think, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and I was for I was like excited and then i remember i don't own an ipad pro so i bought an ipad pro and i'm gonna j just to try just to try final cut and i'm probably gonna get rid of it again uh but i just want to be able to speak to the experience if i'm going to talk about it i want to be able to be like you know know what i'm saying have you used it look at you're her. just getting a you're getting a bunch of notifications oh shay's uh, doxing me Look, bro, I will, here it is. I don't know. For the first time ever. Lunar New Year. Edit. <laughs> That's loud. Jesus. Here it is on an iPad. Your thoughts? Um, have you have you used it, used it, or just looked at it for no. a kind of No, thing? I literally opened up the demo project said, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then I went back that's so and then, unlike you what I was really depending on so in the notes for the, the show I even here's put final, final final cut on iPad thoughts because I thought Sam was going to have a whole thing to thing. let us down here's the thing give me the thing it's sick it's great that it's here but I don't have time in my life right now to try to edit my videos on an iPad <laughs> like when I'm on the road, when I'm trying to do TikToks, they have dub dub. Like maybe it'd be nice to to edit on the iPad mm -hmm. and like do some. Well, stuff I don't. It seems really I powerful. don't think you're the demographic, Samothy. Uh, but my problem is, I, I don't. I, people that so have I've a, been working. People that have a, their own workflow already with their own version of Final Cut that they've built on their Mac with their own plugins and their like every, and even the. Even things like what mouse you use, what keyboard, you personalized your Final Cut experience and then to to have to, even if it is the same app, to try to like do it elsewhere can just be like cumbersome. Yeah. I'm Especially going on an to, iPad with less options to interact. I'm going to use it. Um, it's very cool. It's great that it's here. I'm sorry that I don't have additional perspective. Um. Are you great? I mean, it looks me? it looks great. Uh, they looks like they did a great job. Logic looks amazing as well. Um, I'll be back. Luke okay. Miani made a video. You guys want somebody's experience? Watch Luke Miani's video. Link down. Link below. another video in the description. Link and let's just keep doing it. <laughs> I, I feel like more shows do that. We don't really like do that ever. Um, so you really bought okay. an iPad just to try it out? Are you going to try Logic? That's the audio one. You're a big audio guy. Yeah, but I'm not a huge Logic fan. Oh, uh, to be fair, uh, just for I'm people a, know, I'm I an did subscribe. Fan. I subscribed to both of those apps for an entire year immediately. Like I'm, I'm paying for mm. them fifty bucks. So I'll be paying a hundred dollars a year for, just because I know that there'll be a time when I want them and I want them on my, on yeah. my iPad. So very uh, cool. Sorry that I haven't had time to use it. I've literally been going nonstop. Here's the deal, Sam. We've okay. been working with Stamps.com for a long time. Uh, Stamps.com sponsor wow. Genius Bar. Yay. Yes. Um, Stamps has been around since probably the beginning of Genius Bar. They gave us a little read. I gotta be honest, I've done this so, so many times, I don't care about the read, and I love stamps so much that like I have my own personal thoughts and feelings about it. You, you have know a, why? your own read, a personal read. Yeah, it's a personal <laughs> read, like it's in my heart, and I just save it there, and when I need it, I unfold it, I unpack, I read it to you. Listen. Give it to me, baby. Every, we need the post office, we need UPS, we need to ship stuff, right? But like going to those places is kind of the worst for me because the lines are bad. Uh, personally, I'm not a huge fan of uh, living people. <laughs> I don't like other humans. So being able to ship everything from the comfort of my own home using stamps.com is great, but it's not just from my own home. It's not that I it's not just that I don't go to the post office. It's also that I don't spend post office and UPS money, Sam. Dude, you've said it all for me. They've been the postage partner for the last 25 years. We use them and they are indispensable 
to our business and we think they'll be indispensable to yours as well. Set up your business for success when you get started with stamps.com today. Sign up with promo code genius for a special offer that includes a four week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page and enter code genius. Did you tell them they get 84% off? Well, yeah, they can get up to 80%. There are huge discounts with up to 84% off of USPS and UPS rates. That's almost free. Like yeah, if you're, you're not using stamps.com, you're just wrong. You're just get you're giving away your money, guys. Yeah, how Thanks, what stamps. You, you, why don't you just throw it out the window while you're driving, weirdo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to bring something up with you. Do it. Hit me. Uh it Mark Gurman. Like are you gonna Oh the okay. Germster. The, the Germster Wormster. He put out a report that said iOS seventeen oh, come yeah. with a new lock screen. What new lock screen, you ask? Apparently, a new horizontal lock screen for your iPhone in iOS 17. Sam, in the notes, I linked it. No, I didn't. <laughs> yes, I did. You my ass so hard. It, we're okay. We're back. We're back. Okay, so here is this little thing. Oh, we didn't talk about the new dub dub little animation thing. Oh, yeah. That is absolutely a pass-through animation. I don't care what anyone says. People are like, it's the lens. No, it's not. It's a fuck. It- Sam... This is I don't want to. This is me. I don't want to try to sound like an asshole because I get very abrasive when I think I know yeah. I'm right, which is often, mm-hmm. and then often that's not true. Um, but this is like if if you haven't experienced VR before, I sort of get it. But if you have had a VR experience, this is so like on the nose <sighs> for you. That's a it's an AR VR pass through animation. Yeah. That's what it looks like to me. Just saying. No, fanboy. Get out of here, fanboy. I know. Um, Gotta stop doing this and be objective. Dude, but here's the thing is like, just as like excited as we get about things, I feel like we also go hard on it. That's what I feel like we're pretty fair. Like, I feel like we go hard on things, but also- We are fair. Get excited. I don't know. That's a whole other thing. Anyway, Mark Gurman says that Apple is planning. This is weird to me, by the way. This is extremely weird. Smart display-like mode in iOS 17. Uh, let me go ahead and pull up the article from our boys over at the Big Bloom. The Big um, Bloom. <laughs> the Big Bloom. Uh, here's what it's it going to look like, or what Google already did. Wow. But on your iPhone. Yeah, this would make sense on like an iPad. Yeah, um, I honestly, I this is one of the weirdest things. Cool. To me. Glad, cool. Guys. Like I, I Show hope me the headset. To, I hope. <laughs> I hope to God I can turn this off. I want no part of this. Yeah, yeah, of course. I already don't want my screen on as it is. I don't want to fucking turn my phone sideways and it shows me other stuff. So you do still have always on display off. Well, I, I go back on. and forth. Right now it's okay. off. Yeah, mine, mine's been off for ever. Uh, I recently tried to, like, um, I recently tried to go back and especially, like, in bed for some reason... I'm always checking it because I always think it's mm. it, it went off. Always. It's crazy that this, yeah. I've, uh, this feature's been out for a year and I still can't grasp it. <laughs> My brain is still like, uh, somebody message me. <laughs> and he'll still ghost you, even uh, looking I know. <laughs> uh, not you. Oh, so, no, once you I get, know. listen. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you earn your way up because I'm a very, I'm a very dysfunctional human. It's like if it took like a year for you to to get into my warm pie crust. Ah, uh, oh, that sounds really good. Should cut that out. I took you a year to get in my warm pie crust, and but now that you're here, you don't get ghosted. It's not, and people think I don't ghost people because I want to be an asshole. I don't have the social bandwidth. It's not there. And then, and then I'm like, well, a day's gone by. It'll be weird now. Yeah. <laughs> so it just lives like that forever. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this is a weird one. Uh, that The lock screen's coming. You'll be able to see people. Super weird. Like, I okay, mean, cool, I would get. I guess. I don't know. Sure. For, the, for the HomePod that he was saying was going to come with a screen. Sure. Makes sense. Yeah, genius. That seems not genius, just cool. Like that's that's well, cool. to, like for this, my but... phone to do that. I don't Or like, like yeah, not he said like this isn't even gonna come on the iPad right away. It's just gonna be on the iPhone. And very like, odd. Very mm-hmm. odd and very suspicious. Who's not... the guy that goes to like Apple stores and just takes the stock photography photos? I guess apparently it's that guy. Song Jun Cho. 
It's that I mean, guy. that's fair. I, I spent a lot of time in Apple stores. Fair enough, man. Uh, why don't, um, maybe, maybe that's the new career path. You and I will just, we'll start taking pictures and then try to sell them to Bloomberg. That's pretty appealing. It's pretty saying. appealing. Uh, we also got another uh, follow-up report from German. This one is linked. Uh, basically, that uh, where is it? I just see his Twitter. Sorry, I'm working on it, man. I'm working on it. So <laughs> I'm, I'm operate this here. I'm machine. working on it. Uh, German in this report follows up saying that there is a new journal app as well as a way to to talk about your emotions and what you're feeling for logging your mood. Mm -hmm. Um, in the health app, they're planning to bring the health Again, app to the iPad. That's one. Of, that's one of those instances where there are plenty of apps that already do that. And if you're using one that you're happy with, uh, you should continue to use it. This now, is Apple introducing it natively into the health app, and so that's on, that's that's only a good thing. Now, I just want to say something real quick as a follow up. Say I noticed something. something about this report that I found very fascinating. What it is? This health app. German mentions is coming to the iPad. Now, that's the first time we've ever heard that, right? Because there's not a health app on the iPad. Yeah, why would there be a health app on the iPad? Think about it in clinical settings. Mm. Doctors using iPads being able to do like that actually makes a lot of sense. It's weird that it's not a health app when you think about it that way. Hmm. Until I remember, John, we've actually heard that one time before. Heard what? You know who initially rumored that the health app is coming to the iPad this year? Who? Analyst941. An Analyst941. This I tweeted out. Wait, I take that back. German tweeted this back. Did German say this? Maybe it was German that said this. I swear. <laughs> maybe just cut this. Dump it. <laughs> <laughs> Dump it. Got too much shit on me. All right, we're back. I'm completely wrong about what I was about to say. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> That's embarrassing. It's not embarrassing because okay. it's gone. Um. Oh, look, the White House people, we are avoiding the U.S. default. Yay. That's why you come to Genius Bar. Wow. Shocker. The job U.S. Shocker. Okay. If you could move anywhere, where would you move? I don't really know. I haven't traveled enough places to answer that I question. I want to move to Thailand. Why Thailand? Or like, I don't know. I just want to live somewhere that is- I've only been to one country outside of the US. I want to go somewhere that is secluded. Mm. I want to go somewhere where people are friendly. I want to go somewhere where people care. <laughs> and, John, it and, sounds like you need a hug, man. Yeah. <laughs> You're, all those things are right in between these two arms, baby. Yeah. <laughs> um, but also like, uh, YouTube money in, in those places is like making US money in those places you're basically Elon please don't ever be Elon bro <laughs> close enough please don't you're Elon well, with, without the sass um guys we sit here recording this on May 27th it goes out on May 28th you're probably listening to it on the 20th 30th 31st or 1st of June or 2nd of June you better not be listening that late what's wrong with you and uh, we're already late so if you listen yeah. late then you're, <laughs> then you're getting your news way late so here's what I'm trying to say as we close <laughs> okay the next big things are almost here man the next big things are okay but Sam we have to let's try to make a pact together a brother pact when this headset comes out, all right? I'll go into debt for it? Sure. Yeah. When this That's headset comes out, uh, we can't go back to being Debbie Downers. Like, there will be another big thing. It's not like... <laughs> Like, it's not like, Why did you have to put that out there? I no, know. wait. But like, it after the headset me... comes out, there's going to be nothing to talk about. Nothing to be excited about. So it... This is... That's what I'm saying. Like, if you don't know how big of a deal this is, don't miss this. Who knows when we're going to... The last time we had a moment like this was 10 years ago? Apple Watch? It was 2015. It was technically 2014 when they announced it. So, oh, why did you have to say that? I mean, that's where we're at. So immediately Wait, following the so headset, much... we're, you're just going to tune in Genius Bar and we're just going to be like, fuck. <laughs> Dude, the last time that Apple announced something was literally the second year of my YouTube channel ever. Look at that. 2014. And now here we are. iPhone 6. 
that what was a great a big phone. year. Well, had some issues. Man. The whole bendy situation. Nah, just don't be a fucking stupid idiot. Do people still put their phones in their back pocket and sit on them? Because I don't understand. No, there was definitely a structural problem with the six. There was. Like, it, it was too... There was, but it wasn't I'm, like they fucking bent in half and snapped unless you yes, purposely did it. True. Um, you're right. That's a great example. Unbox therapy. That dude's got like 20 million subs and what Apple about? has never. Would you sent invite him? him? Here's my problem with the way that Apple handles this. He's just doing his job. He's sensa- sensationalizing is what he did for that. If I was PR, if I was marketing for Apple, that's how I would view that, and I would put him on a blacklist. But after so many years, people come off a blacklist. I'm just saying, Renee Ritchie was on a blacklist at one point, too, I'm sure. He used to leak stuff. He leaked the first iPad mini. Speaking he stopped which, leaking, and now he's like best buds with them. Nine to five Mac and Mac rumors are going to the event. Did uh, you see that? Our event or? No, Dub Dub. They got invites from Apple. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. For the first time since I the saw there, I saw I saw Joe and Chance are gonna like hang out. That sounds like murder waiting to happen. But that's what nemesis. I'm saying. Like, so they I mean, I don't know if you remember what nine to five Mac did um in twenty eighteen, uh, but they leaked the entire iPhone ten S and Apple Watch series four five days ahead of the event in full resolution. Uh and you're telling me they get to come back from that? Who did it? Mm. Who wrote the article? Was mm. it German? Because German's gone. No, it was uh, Guillermo Rambo. Mm. Who's also found himself in uh, some sticky situations. Also in a sticky other, situation, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for other... Uh, anyway, the tech community is wild. There's Things no are, time for gossip. It's all love here, and I'm very excited... <laughs> Everyone this, take okay, this, a second this, to just let yourself be excited. This only happens yeah. once in a while. And I'm just saying appreciate 9 to 5 ride. Mac and Mac rumors going makes this a big deal too because that means Apple wants to reach everybody with this. Mm-hmm. Like, again, if there's... Dude, I saw a comment the other day that was like, no, nah, headset's not coming. Yeah, I've and seen I'm like, a couple thanks, of thanks, Jack. Yeah. Thank you, Jack, with your inside information that with the headset's not coming. your infinite knowledge, yeah. No, Apple's just inviting a VR website. Somebody said that today too, dude. 17. Hang on, I took a screenshot of the comment just because <laughs> I thought it was so funny. Oh, I'm. I think I've bookmarked some tweets that I'm going to quote tweet and be really toxic about when the headset gets announced because I'm just like, bro, I don't show up to your work and be like, um, actually, the reports do Monday. <laughs> it's like, no, you would know when the reports do. I'm not going to show up because you're in it. So my my video title for Front Page Tech was "This is Why I Love Apple." Yes. Someone commented, just like completely. I'm sure stone faced. Apple just made it personal. I think this is a better video title. <laughs> okay, thank you. I guess I'll just change it to that. Not a person who makes videos and creates anything at all. So I you, checked. You, I'm curious because I don't think we've talked about this. We'll wrap in this way. Uh oh. You you like read the comments stuff. for your videos? Within for the first hour. After that, I ignore it. Um, but I don't ignore it because again, I ignore it just for my brain safety, basically because I will yeah, check yeah. it. If I, if I don't have a hard cutoff, if my brain thinks I can check it whenever I want, then I will. And it will just be constant, and I will never not look. And I'll wake up, and I'll look, and I'll see some shit, and then it'll upset me, and it'll ruin my day. So, for the first hour, I because I feel like the people that are there right away are the people I put, should give my time to. So, I wait for the first Enjoy hour, boys. and I read all the yeah. comments. Okay, that's cute. Yeah. Do you? Um, What's your strategy? I spot check, but I try to avoid it as much as humanly possible. <laughs> not because I don't, <laughs> cool. not because I don't absolutely love the the people that give me their time. Um, I don't know. I uh, I mean, I'll, I'll I'll do like a check to make sure people are enjoying it, and I didn't fall short. Or sometimes, that you didn't, but like, I I generally avoid edit. comments. And then like people on TikTok, I don't know. The TikTok comments are like even crazier. Um, to be fair, I do kind of incite some. Dude, I cannot stand you. I went from supporting your TikTok to just, yeah. I fucking, I think me saying it out loud, TikTok heard that because I would only see you sometimes like, cause we're, you're in my contacts on my phone. So it would like pop up and I follow yeah. you and stuff. But on TikTok, I strictly do not watch tech stuff. I don't, I don't. It's like working at McDonald's all day and then 
when you go home you for dinner you eat more McDonald's. That's not what I want. So I that's I don't watch tech stuff on TikTok. And I TikTok isn't showing me you, Sam. It's not showing me TikToks that you upload. Oh no, no, no. It's doing worse. It is showing me other people reacting to your TikToks, a stitch. So it shows you first, your stupid voice. Did you know? And then the, and then somebody pops in and goes, Well, actually, but because of that, I am I get more of you than I would if I just followed you. Because at least if I follow you, it knows to skip a few. I will get yeah. Sam fucking back to back to back to back. People responding and reacting to his shit. And I hate you for it. You have ruined it. <laughs> so TikTok's ruined algorithm it. recently changed that I noticed. Instead of just throwing everything from everyone at you, if you spend a, an amount of time on a video that it deems is meaningful, it will then give you a random thing. And then another random thing, and then it will give you two more videos back to back from that same creator that you just spent time on. Yeah. Um, so I TikTok, think that's what. Though it infuriates me, might be the best algorithm socially. Oh, for sure, it's it's phenomenal and super addictive, and I hated on it for a long time, but I don't know. TikTok's just really fun. I um, you like make a little bit of money from it if you like get thirteen million views or whatever, and like it just depends. Like I'm just saying, like people people say. You want to talk about short farm, you know who's compensating me horribly is YouTube Shorts. I 100% make more video more money from TikTok than YouTube wow, Shorts. That's the first time Remember I how that. that was supposed to be the savior and was going to kill TikTok? No. Dude, YouTube Shorts has paid me $35 for a million shorts plays. That's a lot of money. TikTok would pay me I don't know, but more than that. Just not a lot, but like I think more than that. Maybe I'm wrong. Hold on. Maybe I'm maybe I've got it backwards. My point is short form video continues to struggle to be monetized and TikTok is fun. And I wish that I was a TikToker like Ramal Media or Miles Above Tech or Carter PCs or I, I feel like you are. Like a no, I feel like I'm you... not. They're cool and I'm not, bro. Oh, I you're not cool. I didn't say that, but I feel like okay. you you're you could be classified as a TikToker. No, but they're like cool TikTokers. Well, be a cool TikToker. Let's go watch some cool TikTokers and leave. Okay, I can tell you're ready to go. Anyway, my brain's been all over the place this episode. I apologize if you can't tell. I think tell, it was a good episode. Was it? I don't what know. Are you apologizing this is one where for? I was like, I think I was. I'm kind of like hearing myself back, and I think don't I was apologize. Annoying. You're wrong. Incorrect. No, I was annoying. Incorrect. I'm sorry for. Be, I'm Incorrect. sorry for being annoying Incorrect. and full of Incorrect. poo poo. This Incorrect. episode. Um. When are we going to do this next? The, the our events in just over a week. Dub Dub's in basically so, a week. Uh, one would hope that a sa a savior, uh, a certain episode that had been recorded weeks ago, <sighs> that uh, has not been released. That, that would, would be, be maybe the perfect situation. Yeah, that well, like an it. episode that somebody else has comes out, and we release that as our buffer. To get us to dub dub and our event. But uh, I feel that is unlikely. And I feel we will be recording another episode. <laughs> and in that episode, I don't know what we will talk about because we, if we're going to record one, we're going to record one like in a couple days. We kind of blew our load. Here's a question. Here's something that I want to ask really quick before I go. Okay. Last ask question. Me. John Prosser. King of Apple Leaks. Okay. Well, Jester of Apple Leaks now. Jester of Apple Leaks, um, okay. Is the headset leaking out before the event? Are no. we going to see it? Hmm. No. Uh, I think that uh, they've taken this pretty seriously, and if we've gotten this far, like, it's just, it will it would be very odd. It would surprise me a lot if I saw it leak. I feel like this is very protected right just now. Just think about it. We didn't see the Apple Watch before it leaked, or before it know, came out. Do you, do you want to know why? And why? Uh, because these products were further away from mass production. And mass production is where things get a little hairy because once you start giving more people, thousands of people, thousands of employees access to what a product looks like, that increases the chances quite a bit that those people don't have a horse in the race and will leak it. Uh, in this case, I, I don't think there's literally enough of these things that have been made at scale to where <laughs> enough of, enough people have seen them. There's like 12 of these that have been made. Hopefully. Dude, there's probably some Apple exec right now flying back from Shenzhen 
with one of these in a briefcase. In a briefcase. I mean, what do you think? You think it's going to leak? <sighs> I mean, now I that you put shocked. it like now that you put it like that, I'm sad because I just want I just want to see it, dude. I, I, I we are going to see it, it but like, like there this I is know, a secret right? that they want to keep, it's you so know? Fun. No, and I get it. Like I know Apple wants to talk about it first. And I get why Tim Cook especially has been said to hate leaks, but it's like they make it so fun, man. And the the information, dude, absolute masterclass when it comes to like leaking information. Uh yeah. they leaked the uh, first appearance of the headset years ago. If yeah. it looks anything even remotely like that, so impressive. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I don't know. It's a, our idea so has evolved questions. a little bit. So the information sketch was just a uh, like a profile view, a the side 2D view sketch. We yeah, have so, no idea. So we couldn't we couldn't see the front, the shape of the front, but like we got a. But all the renders have been based on that since then, basically. That plus you know extra leaked information. Yeah, dude, crazy. Okay, last last thing. Last, to give last you a thing. taste of my video. I want this is a treat for everybody that stayed to the end. You probably haven't seen this yet. But my boy, my boy uploaded a video okay, of the headset, and I think it's pretty cool. Is this what's going on in your video? Yeah, this is going to be in it, but we also have some exclusive renders on top of this. Just to leave it on this, introducing the Apple Reality Pro. Want Isn't he the best? I want it. Applause for Shay. Anyway, guys, let's leave there. I got to go back to my main soundboard. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Hold on. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you wow. for being a friend. Travel. You might have joined this podcast two years again. ago. We are, Your heart is true. You are a pal and a confidant. And, and if you forget. threw a party and invited everyone you knew, you would see the biggest gift would be for me. And the card <laughs> attached would say, thank you. For being a friend. I don't know what you just said, but the uh, Golden Girl team, Sam. Come on, Genius bro. Bar goes dark. Forgot you're like twelve. God, I do, I do a podcast with a child. To our event, twenty nine dollars. Come to the event, or else I will kill you. It is going to be everyone in the tech game in the same space. Everyone. Pretty, pretty cool. That's quite the promise. And uh, oh, let me let me put this on here. Uh, if you're a tech creator uh, that wants to come, just DM me, and we'll make some. Happen. DM Sam. <laughs> <laughs>